video. So it's uh, there's a lot of news about Amber Heard just now, and uh, anytime you Google a Amber Heard, she's she's in the papers. And here's here's one for the Independent, uh, John in Depp libel cop. Uh, case when Orida and Vanessa Parody claim actor was never violent towards them. When Orida and Vanessa Parody, who are both ex girlfriends of Johnny Depp, have claimed the actor was never violent towards them, the pair defended Depp in witness statements is short as part of their libel claim against the news uh, Sun newspaper after uh, one of his articles referred to him as a wife beater. The report related to allegations made against Depp by his former wife Amber Heard, which the actor strongly denies. Uh, in the her witness statement, Parody described Depp as as kind, attentive, generous, and non-violent. While Ryder said she cannot wrap her head around allegations of a, of abuse. Parody, an actor and singer who have two children with Depp, said, "I have known Johnny for more than 25 years." We've been partners for 14 years and we raised two children together. Row all these years, I've known Jen, uh, Johnny to be kind, generous, non-violent person and father. She added, he was never violent or abusive to me. Ryder, who was in a relationship with the actor in 1990, said, I cannot wrap my head around the accusations. She was never violent. And and we all know, listen, we all know that Amber Heard is, is, is guilty, right? We can all... And that there's her friends are even leaving. Her lawyers don't really want to represent because she keeps on digging the hole. Johnny Depp did say, "Listen, you you don't really want to take this to case uh, into court because you you know because he knew the truth back then. He was trying to be the you know the the mature person and say, "Listen, I don't want to ruin your life. Let's just have a nice divorce." And I walk away, and Amber was having none of it. Meanwhile, I don't know if she she promoted sort of feminism and and everything else. Um, so the the question's always been: Has she, now I know there's a petition for her to be removed from the DCEU, and frankly, I'm not really caring uh, um, if she's if she's in the next Aquaman movie because to me she's she's a lovely looking lassie. She is. She's lovely. Uh, but we, we watch singers and we watch actors who get accused of everything. And for me, I always put that in an action and I watch the character that's getting portrayed. Yeah, maybe we, we can hurt her by minimising how much she gets paid. You know, give her very little and keep her, you know, on the sideline and everything else. I mean, there's a lot of... Uh, and maybe she can go to a mental hospital and trying to get herself fixed or something like that, you know, and and everything else. But I mean, what we're we going to do in the DC movie? Somehow chop her head and have another Amber Heard suddenly appear? Well, we could do that. We could basically say, you know, I mean, because she is going to appear in the Justice League movie, no doubt. She is going to be in that film, and then she's going to be in the Aquaman movie, and um, so I I just say let 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 her be. Um, Amber Heard, let her, let, her, let her be Amber Heard, let her be this character or whatnot, and uh, and so forth, and then in a film just somehow minimise her importance in the role and then get her out that way, don't just suddenly bring in another actress and a anything else, And but we, we would accept that, but again, there's a lot of people that get chosen for roles, and it's, it's sad to say, but uh, for eye candy, and I'm talking about men as well, okay? You never, you, you really never have an unattractive hero in the, in, in the roles. But let me know what you think. Should we get rid of Amber Heard or, I mean, after this court case, she will certainly learn a huge lesson in her life. But is it more reason to, uh, to take her out altogether? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if it, the shoe was on the other foot, you know, off court, you know, it, we, we'd react differently, you know, we, we would, honestly, we, we would, we would like, damn, that woman beat her, get him off, get him fired, that's him done, but there's always been that sort of hesitant thing coming from, you know, because she's a woman, but I want to know your thoughts and feelings, should Amber Heard be removed from uh, Aquaman, I don't see any, I don't really see any problem with it, they've spent money 
uh, on this character. They've spent, uh, you know, building this universe up, and it would be a tragedy uh, in my line to just somehow in the movie get her head cut off or something like that, or a death scene or something like that, just because of what's happening in real real life. I think as people as we are, we you know, I mean. You look at Michael Jackson, you look at all these stars that have had all these allegations, and what happens? We still watch the films, we still listen to the music, you know. But so, on to a lighter note. Look what I got for my birthday Pennyworth and Red Sun, okay? Now, I kind of read this book a wee while ago, and so I know, I know the the movie's going to be slightly different. So I want to hear your reviews because it'll be a wee while before I get to see it. So no spoilers, but put in your comments your review on that movie. And if you've seen it, and again, no spoilers, Pennyworth. I'm actually looking forward to this. I never actually, because I couldn't see it because it's on Star Plays, but it says from the creators of Gotham, and I love Gotham, I watched all the series right up to the end. Uh, uh, partner didn't had something wrong with her. She belongs in Arkham Asylum, uh, but like, for he cannot, and because it's in the past and it's talking about Alfred, you're not bogged down with all the the villains' origin stories, you know. So, uh, and the fact that it is an eighteen, I am, th- and it's in the past. That is something new, and I cannot wait. Uh, to see this, I don't think I'll be disappointed. But have you been disappointed by it? Again, let us know in the comments. It'll be a wee while before I see this, um, and let us know is this one of the actual DC TV shows that uh, will last? Is this something that is badly needed? For me, I think the TV shows that were cancelled um, totally wrong. Constantine got cancelled too early. Uh, Swamp Thing definitely should have had another season. Uh, I know I hear rumours about it starting on the CW channel, which is wrong unless you get all the same makers that made the first season to make uh, a continuing story, because uh, that will stand up high. Teen Titans have been okay, but again, uh, uh, until Deathstroke came on, it was actually losing me because it, it wasn't really giving you time to get right into the characters, and then. When they had the old pensioner playing Batman, I went seriously. Why cannot? Why can TV not get Batman right? I forgive Gotham for the last couple of seconds uh, in the last episode, you know. Because hey, let's be honest. We want to put the boy who had done the, you know, the seasons in the suit. Okay. Um, couldn't really exactly put Ben Affleck. Oh, could we? But let us know your thoughts and feelings on this and an amber head. Okay. And uh, I'll catch you next time.